Conservative forces. Conservative forces are the forces whose work done does not depend on the path. Means if object is moving from a position A to B either through path A or 2 or some path 3 or any other arbitrary path but if the initial and final position remains the same then work done by conservative forces does not depend on the path work done by conservative forces depends only on initial position and final position whereas work done by non conservative forces depends on the path itself so how to find which force is conservative and which force is non conservative means if a general term is given like a force is given f is equal to 2x minus y square i cap plus 3z minus 4x into j cap like this then how to find whether this force is conservative or not for that if a force is conservative for conservative force we have a relation that is curl of that force curl of that force must be zero now what it represents this can be written as I cap, J cap, K cap, del by del x, del by del y, del by del z, f x, f y, f z. Now this symbol, if you are writing del by del x, it means partial derivative. Partial derivative with respect to x now what it mean by partial derivative partial derivative means if we are let's say if y is equal to 3x square plus 2z where x y z are representing coordinates of a point then if we are calculating del y by del x it means we are assuming that only x is changing and z is constant so it is simply 6x plus 0 whereas in case of absolute derivative we have to take care that z is also depending on x so when x is changing z is also changing here we are using partial derivative only for conservative forces this must be equal to 0 this can be calculated as i cap into I cap into del Fz upon del Y minus del Fy upon del Z minus J cap we have del Fz upon del X minus del Fx upon del z plus k cap this term del f y upon del x minus del f x upon del y is equal to 0 so we can say that in short if del f z upon del y is equal to del f y upon del z del f x upon del z is equal to del f z upon del x and del f y upon del x is equal to del f x upon del y if these are valid means if for a given force these three relations are there that force is a conservative force we can visualize it with the help of an example let's say force is 2x minus 3y i cap plus 
फोर वाई स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री जेड जे कैर सो इन दिस केस वी हैव एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई एफ वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर वाई स्क्वेयर माइनस थ्री जेड एंड एफ जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो फर्स्ट डेल एफ एक्स बाई डेल जेड डेल एफ एक्स बाई डेल जेड इट इज जीरो बिकॉज देर इज नो टर्म कंटेनिंग जेड वी आर एज्यूमिंग एक्स एंड वाई कॉन्स्टेंट वाई डिफरेंसिंग डिफरेंशिएटिंग एफ एक्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू जेड सो इट इक्वल टू डेल एफ जेड अपॉन डेल एक्स डेल एफ जेड अपॉन डेल एक्स is also equal to zero because fz is zero so this relation is valid first relation del fz upon del y which is again zero del fz upon del y is zero because fz itself is zero del fy upon del z now del fy upon del z is equal to first term zero minus 3 so this is minus 3 this relation is not applicable for this force it means this force is a non conservative force this force is not a conservative force so if these relations are valid for a given force that force is a conservative force otherwise the force is a non conservative force and the term potential energy is defined only for conservative force there is no potential energy associated with non conservative force so the relation between potential energy and the conservative force f is equal to minus du by dr or we can write du is equal to minus f dot dr so rather writing like this we have minus f dr cos theta so from this relation minus du by dr is not equal to f minus du by dr is equal to f cos theta but when theta is zero if theta is zero we can write it like in this manner minus du by dr now from this relation minus du by dr this relation we have du is equal to minus fx dx plus fy dy plus fz dz or we can write force in terms of potential energy and force is minus del u this is known as gradient and here negative gradient of potential energy is equal to force this relation can be written as f is equal to minus del u by del x into i care plus del u by del z del y into j cap plus del u by del z into k cap it means if potential energy is given in terms of x y z cartesian coordinate we can find out the force by using this relation if only one dimension is there means if force is existing in only one dimension and displacement is also in one dimension then for one dimension one dimensional case we can simply write for one dimensional case we can simply write f is equal to minus du by dx if on increasing x means if x increases if on increases x u also increasing this implies f is negative negative means 
फोर्स इज अट्रैक्टिव इफ ऑन इंक्रीजिंग एक्स और लेट से ऑन इंक्रीजिंग एक्स यू डिक्रीजेस दिस इंप्लाइज एफ इज पॉजिटिव और वी कैन से फोर्स बिटवीन द टू पार्टिकल्स इज रिपल्सिव Alternatively, if on decreasing x u decreases, force is negative. If on decreasing x u increases, force is positive. So from the observation, we can find out whether the force is attractive one or repulsive one. Apart from this, we can can also find out the state of equilibrium. Previously, we have studied we have three type of equilibrium: stable equilibrium. unstable equilibrium and neutral equilibrium in all type of equilibrium force is zero that is du by dx is zero but in stable equilibrium potential energy is minimum in unstable equilibrium potential energy is maximum and in neutral equilibrium there is no change in potential energy so their corresponding graph For stable equilibrium, if we plot a graph between u versus x, then for stable equilibrium, the graph will be like this one. And this position is this position is equilibrium position, and this is stable equilibrium. For unstable equilibrium. the graph between u and x is like this one this is position of equilibrium and this is unstable equilibrium for neutral equilibrium there is no change in the potential energy and the potential energy curve is a straight line means potential energy is not changing by displacing the particle analogy can be taken let's say a particle is placed in a curve like this in this case particle is placed on a curve and in this case particle is placed here so when particle is placed here and it is displaced by small amount in either direction the particle will eventually come to its initial position it means stable equilibrium in unstable equilibrium let's say particle is placed here if particle is displaced from its equilibrium position in, in either direction particle will not going to come back its on its original position again so this is unstable equilibrium net force is, is zero but maximum energy is uh, potential energy is maximum here and potential energy is minimum here in this case if particle is placed somewhere at this point and if displaced by small small amount in either direction it will retain the new position so stable equilibrium unstable equilibrium and neutral equilibrium we can define them on the basis of potential energy but remember potential energy is associated to conservative forces only if the forces are non conservative then we cannot associate a potential energy for them and for non conservative forces the equilibrium equations are different but here we are, we will concern about only conservative forces because spring force gravitational force and the electric and magnetic force the major forces which are which we are going to study are conservative one so we will use these result in future